a trending topic in um, in our space. I don't know if you have any experience with these or are or, or f- familiar with the data, but like peptides for enhanced recovery. Is that an area that you've like mm-hmm. looked into at all? Mm-hmm. Like um, these growth hormone secretagogues and things like that. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I know that there's not a ton of human data, but yeah, nonetheless, very, very a lot of people are experimenting with them for enhanced yeah. recovery and the like. So a lot of them work. Um, secretagogues are dope. And they probably increase your growth hormone production marginally and pretty significantly. I live in a really strange world where I deal with predominantly two types of people. People who are drug-free and have no interest in reconstituting vials and shooting them into anything. And people who are in the world of pro sports, especially pro bodybuilding, that like if it can be injected, I'm doing it. (laughs) There's just no compunction to try to go some middle-of-the-road kind of stuff. So because of that, I don't deal with people who use a lot of peptides because I either deal with people that are like peptides, like, bro, I'm not a criminal. And then you're like, okay, fine. Let's do this with creatine and whey protein, which is great. Uh, Or uh, very few real serious bodybuilders do a whole lot of indexing on peptides. Now, some of them like um, BPC-157, for example, are amazing if you want to heal from an injury rapidly. Hmm. But you got to be hurt for that sort of thing. And usually it just doesn't do a whole lot if you just use it all the time. But for real high-level athletes that are using drugs, secretagogues work, um, peptides work. But if you have pharmaceutical-grade growth hormone, it's like Godzilla and all the other shit is rats. Like, boom, giant footprint. Just it'll, erases everything. Hmm. You get you some, you get you some serostim, uh, from EMD Serrano, and it just crushes all comers. And if you're on pharmaceutical grade growth hormone at the right doses, someone's like, What do you think of peptides? You're just like, Watch this, fuck out of my face, flex the muscle at them, and they just disappear. That's the difference. And so, to me, the peptides thing is falls into uh, there's a lot of use cases for peptides that are great. I don't want to disparage them. But some of the stuff that you could be doing with kind of real drugs, like growth hormone versus the secretagogues, to me, is a similar conversation about SARMs. Have you heard about SARMs? No. Um, selective androgen receptor modulators. Mm. They're these drugs that were designed in the 90s that people had a lot of hope would give you the anabolic muscle growth effects of steroids, but without any of the androgenic kind of side effects of steroids. And it turns out that they just, just didn't do that. Um, if you take the recommended doses, you get almost nothing. If you take high doses to get the real results, you also get the shitty stuff. Mm. And so SARMs kind of failed. But SARMs have this unique appeal to especially teenagers and especially people who are on the periphery of being drug-free but being curious about drugs. Bi-curious, I call it. <laughs> is that what that is? Um, and they're like, I want enhancement. I want to get jacked. But I don't want to do steroids because in my health class, they said they were going to kill you and you're out of pimples in your eyes and all that shit. So like, what about SARMs? And the reality, like SARMs and many kinds of peptides, though not all, fall into that camp of like they do stuff. But if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. And if you're going to do drugs, do real drugs. We are they're well studied much more than these things. They have raw, gnarly main effects and um, an agglomeration of side effects that we know what they are and we know how to deal with them relatively well. So there are great use use cases for peptides, but. When someone is just like, actually similarly to how you asked me in this question, though in a different context, like, what do you think of peptides? You, you weren't asking like, should I start using them now? Usually that's how you kind of get it. And it's like, this thing isn't sort of what you think it is. Um, there are tools for the job that are better. I'm gonna make another terrible analogy that gun people are probably gonna be like, this is wrong, it's stupid, it's, uh, it, this is, there's no place for this. There's a use case for a pistol, it's very well demonstrated. Then there are use cases for the, the term escapes me at the moment is exactly what it is AR platforms. Um, you know, uh, carbines or rifles that have good scope, good uh, length of barrel, everything's super stable. And then there's like something called a submachine gun, like a Tommy gun, like, man, see, you know, <laughs> 1920s type of shit, or like, you know, an MP5, something shorter. It can put a rate of rounds down on target that's quite high, but the rounds aren't very big. They don't do a ton of damage, and the accuracy is limited and the range is limited. And so for actual operators and elite military forces, they carry a sidearm pistol, they have their main AR platform, and they just don't do that intermediate step. Because you're like, what do you think of the MP5? And they're just going to be like, it's a cool gun to use in movies like The Matrix. It definitely has use cases if you're um, personal security for someone high level, but you um, have to have a concealed automatic firearm 
that uh, has to fit into your suit coat and you can't just have an AR barrel sticking out, <laughs> there you go. But as far as most battlefield scenarios, it's either the pistol, it's either the AR. And as some, in some similar sense, you either drug free, you get into the shit that we know works <laughs> as real drugs. Uh, that middle ground, mm. you just won't find a lot of times what you're looking for. Sometimes mm. you will, but a lot of times it's just kind of like peptides. Yeah, they're a thing. Eh. Hey, if you like that video, you need to check out this one here and I'll see you there.